All right, guys, I'm going hunting Rock Springs. A couple buddies of mine going for axis deer and hogs. Um, there's a lot of animals in Rock Springs. I think it'd be a good hunt. I think I may see some good animals, but who knows? Hunting's hunting, so let's see what happens. And uh, hopefully, I'll get something. All right, stay tuned. Here we are hunting Rock Springs. This is the camp. This is Austin and Ethan. Gavin. You ready to hunt or what? I am ready to hunt. You gonna kill something? I am. Better I'm gonna put that knife to work for sure. Alright. Stay tuned, see what happens. Last night, Ethan and Austin went out for a hunt. I didn't go, I was sleeping. They went out, saw a bunch of axes. Put this one, I don't know how far it was, it shot him. Great shot. Skinned him out, quartered him. It's Sunday, September 2nd, second day of the hunt, morning hunt. The morning hunt was pretty good. I saw about 14 deer. Too bad it's not deer season. Um, hopefully this evening some pigs or an axis will come out, maybe. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Alright, so after the morning hunt, I decided to go on a spot and stock. I was glassing for about 30 minutes. I found this hog bedded down in some bushes. Uh, he was about 350 yards away at the time. I snuck up to about 85. I got a little bit closer, 50. Uh, that's a perfect shot for me. I can take that 50 yard shot. I drew back. When I drew back, my elbow touched a bush. And he jumped up, saw me, took off. And then right when he took off, this big jackrabbit popped up right next to me, took off. I guessed him at 40. At 40 yards, I put my pin on him, hit him right in the heart like it was nothing. Slick trick, man. They'll take down anything. Real accurate. I didn't even sight him in. I put my field tips on, shot him, shot one broadhead, hit the same spot. They're great. Just try him out. Got this jackrabbit. Center punched him right there in the heart. Alright guys, the hunt was good. I had a great time. Um, saw a lot of whitetail. A bunch. If it was deer season, I'd already be tagged up. Um, a lot of whitetail. I, I shot a bunny, as you can see. Jackrabbit, 40 yards right in the heart. Perfect shot. 
And then the first morning, I probably saw 10 deer. But the first evening, the evening of the day we arrived, I saw 14 deer and I had about probably five bucks in front of me. I had a 80 inch, eight point, and then a 90 inch. Probably not, I think it was a nine. They're still in velvet. Um, it's hard to tell, but nothing I really would shoot. Nothing I want to put on my wall. I'd probably just shoot for the meat. But um, he came out. They were in front of me for about an hour. So my buddy Ethan shot a hog with his bow and got an axis. Austin, on the other hand, saw some pigs that ran right past him. He tried to shoot and miss. He also missed an armadillo at about five feet. Man, he can't shoot. <laughs> but then that um, the last evening, it was getting dark, and I saw some out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, man, what is that? I glassed it. It was an axis stub by 60 yards. So all I have is a 50 yard pin. I drew back, put the 50 yard pin right at the top of his back by his shoulder. I slung her, a good one. Shot her probably, her leg was back a little bit. She was stopped, I stopped her, hit her in the shoulder. I think it passed completely through. I saw something shoot up in the air. Can't really tell, probably my arrow. It passed her like butter. Those slick tricks, if you haven't tried them, they penetrate great, they're razor sharp, they're full field point accuracy. I didn't even sight them in. I got my field tips, sighted them in, screwed them on. I was shooting dead on at any distance. Um, like I said on the rabbit part, I shot that rabbit in the heart at 40 yards with my bow, so slick tricks, great broadheads. Um, the only problem was on that axis though, um, it looked like a good shot, I'm not 100% where it hit, but I had a visual kind of, it's still kind of dark. No blood. Um, I don't know what the hell happened. No blood. But I looked, me and Ethan and Austin looked for probably 10 minutes. We didn't find any blood, so we backed out. And I hunted the morning. Didn't see a single animal for some reason. I think it's because she was laying dead somewhere over there. Or maybe it's because we were looking flashlights last night. But after the morning hunt, about 8 o'clock, I got out of the stand, walked over there, and I found a, a drop of blood about the size of a penny on a rock. And I said, you know what? She's dead somewhere. I need to find her. I looked for about two hours. Not another drop of blood. No access though. Um... But, I mean, I had a great time. It was fun. I hope I get to go again. But I had a great time. Shot that bunny. Um, hopefully I'll have another video for y'all when I go back up there. Just wait for them. They're going to be good. I'm going to stick a couple of whitetails. Alright, guys. See ya.